Did you know that over 200 house fires have been linked to a single painting? The infamous Crying Boy painting from the 1980s has a chilling reputation for being at the center of these mysterious blazes. Stick around because this story is both eerie and fascinating. The Crying Boy painting has become a legend of its own, with tales of destruction, tragedy and unexplained phenomena following it wherever it goes. So, let's dive into the legend of the Crying Boy painting. This artwork was super popular back in the 1980s, and if you lived in England you probably saw it hanging up in homes everywhere. But behind its innocent facade lurks an unsettling legend, one that claims it's cursed and responsible for countless house fires. Intrigued? You should be. The painting, featuring a tearful young boy with haunting eyes, was mass-produced and found its way into many homes across the UK. But soon the stories began to spread, stories of fires breaking out and leaving everything in ashes, except for one thing, the crying boy painting. Here's where things get serious. Numerous reports have emerged over the years, linking the crying boy painting to mysterious house fires. Imagine sitting in your cosy living room, and suddenly your home goes up in flames, but the painting remains completely untouched. Spooky, right? This strange phenomenon has left many homeowners rattled and questioning if they're living with a ticking time bomb on their walls. Firefighters across the UK started to notice a pattern. Houses that burned to the ground would often have a crying boy painting somewhere inside, and the painting would often be found unscathed amidst the charred ruins. Eyewitness accounts often describe the chaos that ensues when the flames start. Some families have claimed that they felt a strange presence in their homes after hanging the painting, while others have reported dark shadows lurking nearby. The idea that a simple piece of art could be the source of such destruction is downright chilling. It's enough to make anyone think twice about decorating their walls. Now, let's take a closer look at the crying boy itself. The painting was created by Italian artist Bruno Armadio, who was also known as Giovanni Bragolin in the 1950s. It quickly gained traction in the UK during the 1980s. The image of the sorrowful child struck a chord with many, leading to mass production and distribution. The painting was one of a series depicting crying children, each one seeming more heart-wrenching than the last. But as more and more people hung this painting in their homes, stories of misfortune began to circulate. Some individuals who owned the painting reported bizarre accidents, strange illnesses and yes even house fires. There's an infamous story about a family who lost their home in a fire, and when the firefighters arrived, they found the crying boy hanging on the wall, completely unharmed. This kind of tale only fueled the legend, and soon enough people were terrified of this once popular painting. The phenomenon was so widespread that some newspapers, like The Sun, even reported on it, feeding the public's fear and fascination with this eerie artwork. As the years passed, the curse of the crying boy painting became a hot topic of conversation. Some skeptics argue that it's all just coincidence, while others firmly believe that there's something sinister at play. Anecdotes from those who experience the phenomenon give us chilling insights into how deeply this legend impacted lives. The most frightening aspect was not just the fires themselves, but the fact that the painting remained untouched, leading to questions about whether it held some sort of supernatural power or curse. Firefighters and investigators were baffled. How could a mass-produced painting be at the center of so many fires, without showing any signs of damage? Some hypothesized that the paintings were coated with a special varnish that made them heat-resistant, while others suggested that they were simply hung in places where they were less likely to catch fire. Yet these explanations did little to quell the fears of those who believed the painting to be cursed. Now here's the part that will really give you goosebumps. One of the most compelling stories comes from a couple in the UK who reported that after hanging the crying boy, their home suffered a series of bizarre events. It started with small accidents, a broken window, a flooded bathroom, but then escalated quickly. One night they woke up to their home engulfed in flames. They managed to escape, but everything they owned was gone. When the firefighters arrived, they found the crying boy painting miraculously intact. This incident sent shockwaves through the community, 
and it became a pivotal moment in the narrative surrounding the painting. Eyewitness accounts, news articles, and even local folklore helped solidify the crying boy's dark reputation. What was once just a painting became a symbol of fear and disaster. This wasn't just an isolated incident. Numerous families came forward with similar stories, and soon the painting was seen as a cursed object. The frenzy reached a peak when a firefighter mentioned that he had been to multiple house fires, where the crying boy painting was the only item that remained undamaged. Some fire stations even began refusing to enter houses that displayed the artwork, and newspapers fueled the hysteria by encouraging people to burn their crying boy paintings to break the curse. It became a kind of mass exorcism event, with people either destroying the paintings or sending them away to the tabloid offices in fear. In one memorable incident, a psychic was called in to examine a painting, and they claimed to feel a deep, malevolent energy emanating from it. They even suggested that the boy in the painting was a spirit trapped in limbo, seeking revenge for some long-forgotten wrong. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, stories like these were enough to send chills down anyone's spine. So, what have we learned about the crying boy painting? It's more than just an artwork, it's a chilling urban legend that has left a lasting impact on those who dare to hang it in their homes. The stories of strange occurrences and devastating house fires fuel the ongoing debate about whether this painting is truly cursed. The fear surrounding it has persisted for decades, keeping homeowners on edge. Whether the curse is real or simply a psychological manifestation of fear and coincidence, the painting has become an iconic piece of modern folklore. Many argue that the crying boy curse is nothing more than a combination of mass hysteria, the media's sensationalism, and a string of unfortunate coincidences. After all, fires happen for many reasons, and houses that burn down aren't necessarily cursed. Yet, the legend continues to thrive, and the painting remains a subject of fascination for both paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Was it really a curse? Or was it just a series of strange coincidences amplified by fear and folklore? The truth might never be fully known, but one thing is clear. The story of the crying boy painting has taken on a life of its own, haunting the minds of those who know of its eerie reputation. What do you think about the crying boy painting and its supposed curse? Do you believe in the supernatural, or do you think it's all just a bunch of coincidences? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos on urban legends and mysteries. There's a whole world of strange stories waiting for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.